Imagine Mahmoud coffee with Coca-Cola mix. Holy million dollar idea. And Nori is back in position. Hi Nori. Alright, so in the video that I'm gonna do, the guide, I've already explained every single rune. So I don't, I don't think I have to do it again. So I'm just gonna jump right into the game. And then I'm just gonna act like I'm a Lois or something. You know what a Lois does when he does his educational stuff? Alright guys, so, uh, so this guy and this guy, uh, go, go, put a wave, push the wave, yeah, yeah. I put a wave when Riffin is fundamentals. Let's go. According to my YouTube statistics, everybody is subscribed. Good job. Would you believe it if I told you Nori is a double agent? She's not a double agent, she's a lawyer. She eeps during the day and she's a lawyer at night. Alright, so I'm gonna go full tryhard locked in educational mode. I'll try my best. I'm never really doing this. I'm not used to this kind of content, but I'll try my best, guys. Alright, so of course we go Doran's Ring start. You could also go Sapphire Crystal start with refillable potion. But personally, I just like Doran's Ring more. It makes your early game a little bit more durable and you pack a bigger punch to kill minions easier and of course when you're trading. The reason why you would go Sapphire Crystal start into a refillable potion is because this build is really weak early game. So it doesn't really matter if you buy a jet item early game. This just accelerates your power spike to lost chapter, which is very good. But personally, I still prefer Doran's Ring. It makes you beefier, makes you gassier. So that's my reasoning for Doran's Ring. Okay, so Riven has Ignite, which we can take a lot of advantage of as long as we don't get cheesed by it. Oh, all right, let's go. Riven with Ignite going in level one. That's a wholesome Chungus champion. Very cool. It's just getting started. She's gonna go on me now for sure. But we face rush. She still gets to hit me a bunch though. I think crystal good when you know when you can't fight. Yeah, pretty much. If you just are planning to do absolutely nothing in your early game, I think crystal is good. It just accelerates your lost chapter. But in a matchup like Riven, you interact with her more than enough to warrant Doran's ring, I think. Up, we hit her with the AoE, nice. You guys think the minion, minions custom skin is a bit distracting for the educational content? It might be. I'm kind of fisting her though. And she gets level 3. She gonna W me every single time you can do that. Like I said guys. In the coaching earlier. Up. And she's dead. And now because she doesn't have TP. She is completely fucked. And I just missed cannon minion. Do not problem. All I'm gonna do is just cut the wave a little bit. So it's not too big. Then I'm gonna freeze and recall. Whenever she's about to arrive. So put a Q there. Now we can recall. Wave is very good. We catch the wave when I'm back in lane. You see she's right here. And now I can hold the wave still while she's right here. That's what I wanted to do exactly. She has flush. Okay. Well she's out I think. You see how I killed Riven there is literally just because I W'd her while she W'd me. If I didn't do that, I wouldn't have set up the kill, basically. And she just can't play aggressive now. I'm freezing the wave and she can't walk up. Only when she has her shield, maybe. Okay, this is how strong freezing is when uh, enemy doesn't have TP. This is fine in that I missed E. Like, she's still fucked. It's just, getting started. just keep going at her. Boop, boop, pop. Oh, she's pissed. Am I dead? Damn. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Baba, that jump's crazy. God damn. I a little too aggressive there. What can I say? Well, that's pretty bad for me, obviously. Missed a lot of farm here because I was freezing. You never want to die when you're freezing because you just, you miss all the minions that you're holding. Well, sh there goes my educational content. It's okay. It's a thing we can learn from, guys. No problem. It's fine, though. I should still be relatively strong versus her. I'm Gragas. As long as I don't make myself vulnerable again, she can't... She can't kill me. Like, I just made myself vulnerable there. That's the only reason why she could kill me. If I just don't do that again, she will never be able to kill me. For me, it seemed like a good play to go at her when she doesn't have a shield up. And I have phase rush. I thought I could just run away with phase rush. She completely nuked my ass. I'm looking to kill her with six. She's also six. Never mind. If I misplay one time, I'm dead here. So I have to respect her quite a bit. And Jarvan is top. I need to run. Need to keep mana as well. Nice. Let the minions do the dirty work. Uh, ah, shit. Ah, shit. Oh, no. Oh, so close, actually. What the hell? We kind of got like the best out of the situation, though. I got a kill 
and I died. So it's really not that bad. Got the best out of a bad situation. And this wave is pushing to me. This is very important because now I get all of this and she does not get all of that. And when she arrives, I'm just going to look for a quick trade on the wave if she lets me. No, 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 Riven. You can't do that versus Kragas. Okay, you can do this though. My bad. My bad, my bad. All my health gone. Ah, shit. That's a Jarvan in my lane. Opa. Bomba. I made sure that I get hit by Jarvan's flag first so that he tanks tower and then I flash his combo. Flashing a Jarvan combo is super easy. I don't know what he was thinking. Bro, what? Why am I... Why, why are they so obsessed with me? Hello? I need to be aware still because Riven has flash. He's looking for a flash ult on me. Okay, this Riven is not a Lois. Nice! Bomba! Right there, you see perfect use of the mechanics that I was talking about earlier. You can double you a Riven while she queues at you. And the enemies are pretty bad as well. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of helping me too. I'm giga strong now. If I touch Riven, she disappears. Also, as you can see, this build is basically like your regular good old Baus and Gragas build. But then in the mid game, around like 15, 20 minutes into the game, you become tanky. And at that stage of the game, it's kind of when you want to be tanky so that you can start team fighting without being obliterated by the enemies. So hopefully this game, I can showcase that. Hopefully I can go lock it and like show you guys like how tanky I become and how good it actually is. No, no, no. This page needs a hero. Ah, shit. No way. Excuse me? What is that range? How does that reach me? Come on, guys. Global active. The Bluetooth device is connected. So I'm very ahead here. I just want to play in this Riven's face. I kill her to death. Bop, bop, bop. See that? Beautiful bops. No bops given. Um, bomba. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Huh. Well, you're dead. I hope. Bomba. Brap. Oh, come on, Viego. What the hell? Oh, hell no. Pretty much this is still a pretty regular game, you know. I'm going a good old Grugan build. Bounce and Gragas build. But soon, it will be spicy. I'll become tankier. And you will see the difference, I hope. All I gotta tell you is it's a good build, guys. Oh, no. Why do they FF? I don't want to do this again. Ah, shit. Look, 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 look. You see that? There's pulled chicken in there. Pulled chicken, quesadilla, homemade. This is so good. My girlfriend, best chef in house. What up guys, YouTube Sloppy here, doing some educational Gragas content here. Plan is to play with the Locket build of course, and I show you guys why it's good basically. Hopefully, I don't end up running it down versus Yorick, but even if I do, trust me, this build's gonna look good. Yorick is probably one of Gragas' worst matchups, so if I can do well versus Yorick, that proves the build. I always find myself smiling so hard after watching you before I go to bed. I lay in bed smiling and with you on my mind until I sleep, and I sleep so amazing. That's awesome, give me all your money. Okay. He's playing, uh, playing safe. E start. He's going for the first strike box, I see. I can abuse that, because he got no gobbers, of course. Trying to look to push the third wave in, because he's just kind of letting me do all this for free. So we hard shove this wave in, and then maybe can reset if I have enough gold, or look into jungle. But my belt have a spot side, so there's no real point for me to actually stick around. So try to push this ASAP, get the reset, and we get an amp tome. Okay, there's the gobbers. Hard shoving the next wave, I see, I see. 
gotta E away immediately, or else uh, Yorick Gobbers stop my E. It's very bad, of course. That's why he counters me so hard, by the way, if you're wondering. E away after they jump, although, yeah, they still jump in. Auto attacks one shot Yorick Ghouls. Abilities don't. They have like extreme damage reduction versus abilities for some reason. So, you know, Gragas has pretty slow auto attacks, so not the best. Do I die here? This is stupid as hell. I thought I could stay inside to kill him, maybe. Ay, 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 ay. Alright, maybe no educational video on this one. Let's go next game. <clears throat> Don't think I can deal with his wife, unfortunately. So, uh, he's just gonna shove. He shoveled into me. Yeah, like. Nice man, this is such a cool matchup actually. And he's gonna get infinite gobbers. This is why this matchup is just not playable. Once he gets level six, he has too much pressure. You just cannot deal with him. He has infinite gobbers. And he's dead maybe. Okay, good, nice, good job guys. Sorry, what do you think of Yorick? Boss. Kill this man too. I'm gonna stay in front of him. Bop. Nice, beautiful. Thank god, random fights are happening, so we can just win. Why is he building two daggers? Yorick players just seem to build random items. Look at this, all electrics as well. Holy moly. My static shiv? Nah, no, there's no way I'm losing versus static shiv Yorick. If I do, maybe that proves my point of uh, this matchup. Sorry, guy. Bombo. The baby. To be honest, the only good thing about Yorick matchup is that Yorick players are bad at the game. <laughs> and he's very immobile. So if he's also immobile and building squishy, it's really not that big of a problem. Because you just toss him into your jungler and your jungler just devours him. I think maybe even alone I could beat him slowly there and try to fight him here. I should be stronger than him. Here we go. Maybe he's waiting for a wifer. Bro, this guy is strange. What the hell? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, Bomba. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think this is a great educational game either, guys. <laughs> but boom, what up? Bop. Oh my god, destruction, holy. <laughs> and AFF, bro. Well, next game is gonna be the educational game, okay? Boom, what up? Educational wall is here. Today, guys, we're doing something little, 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 little... We're doing a little... Bomba. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at this, guys. I'm so bad at educational, pre-recorded type stuff. Maybe fourth game will be the one. So we're just gonna play this laning phase like normal, really gonna wait never mind i was gonna wait for shield but that shield lasts an hour but i don't want to tank another hit okay that works when our power spikes with this build generally speaking just lost chapter is a very good power spike in any gragas build then sork shoes cosmic drive really huge power spikes too but it's mostly about getting levels and stuff are the biggest power spikes it allows you to stat check people basically the reason you go lock it is the same reason why riven or Camille, you know, likes to build tanky as well. They like to go in deep into team fights without dying. But there's no really great AP item for that, to be able to do that. Zonias, of course, but Zonias doesn't provide as much utility anymore. It's more of a damage item. Gives you 120 AP, no ability haste, just a damage item. And it's super inconvenient to build. If Zonias was cheaper, you'd probably want to buy that over Locket. But Locket is just kind of like best in slot. It's so cheap. Locket costs only 2,200 gold. This is so little money. You can almost always afford this, like instantly in the mid game. And it gives you such a boost. You don't even buy it for the shield. You don't buy it for the support effect. You literally just buy it for the stats. It's so cheap. This is not really a support Gragas build. You still do really good damage eventually. Just, you know, hopefully we get to that point this game. So far, pretty chill laning phase. Not too much going on. Just a back and forth in uh, minion waves. Now we want to hard shove the wave, because otherwise I'll be cooked. Basic wave management. We're going to hard shove it here. Even if I don't last hit everything. It's okay-ish. 
gonna hard shot, you know. I don't care about this trade to her. I have a minion wave, so I can actually trade pretty positively. And now because I just hard shoved, I'm literally just gonna recall again. This is top lane. And this is a cannon wave, and Camilla has a really bad wave clear. So this means that I don't have to TP back to lane. If she had a really good wave clear, she could insta clear the cannon minion and stuff. But she's very slow at clearing minion wave, which means I'll be in time. When she clears this, I can catch the wave pretty good, as you can see right here. Shield is annoying as hell. Yeah, she's level 6, so gotta make sure she doesn't cheese me or something. Camille level 6 is not the biggest power spike in the 1v1, so not too scared. It just gives her another tool to outplay me, essentially, that's all. Don't know, what is she doing? She recall? She recalled and TP'd. She might hold this. I think she can. It means I'll TP to stop her. I can get a trade-off, actually. I won't die here. And I fucking missed everything. This is not the best. Outcome, but I mean, Diego's here, so we're good. <laughs> okay, uh, beautiful. Not the cleanest gank, I'm not gonna lie, but the outcome is the exact same, so that's fine. My initial goal there was to recall and just TP back, but I'm gonna take that fight because I know she can't kill me. I'm gonna play aggressive now in her face because I got my lost chapter power spike. Got the shields. Oh my god, what is this? 10 seconds for my R. Oh, okay, okay. The bomba. It's actually not bad that I knocked her into the wall because Viego can guarantee his stun that way. If I knock Camille towards him, it's actually kind of easy for him to miss the stun. So if I knock her into the wall, she still gets CC'd for the same amount of time, but she gets locked down, right? She stays in the same place, so Viego can hit his stun for free. But it was a little bit too close. Not the most perfect ult by me there. As you can see, it's kind of a pretty passive playstyle overall. It's just your regular Gragas playstyle. You play aggressive once you get your lost chapter power spike. But I don't know, this Camilla is just really scared of me. I don't like it. I want to kill her. Um, bomba. That was the weirdest bomba I've ever had in my life. But yeah, she didn't do that correctly. Okay, here we go. Face rush OP. Do not problem. <laughs> but face rush is so OP, man. This is why you run face rush, by the way. Of course, it's best if I just don't get called by that guy. But if you ever get called in these kind of situations, you can do that. Oh god. It's just getting started. That's a lot of people. Oh, blitz ban. God damn. That's a nasty hook by the blitz ban. Put a Q on two people. Nice. Nice. Holy shit. Actually perfect. Bombo. What's the worst Gragas matchup for top? Probably something like Ilawi, Yorick. Heimerdinger is pretty bad too. Basically stuff that can just pressure you constantly. Because Gragas' early game is so weak, you have to like bend over all the time. So if you play versus something that has constant pressure, like Heimerdinger turrets, Yorick's wife, and, and Gobbers. What the... Uh, huh, Bombo. Now I'm building Locket, of course. That's kind of the whole point of this build. When you buy Locket, you start getting more stacks of Jack of All Trades. As you can see, I have 8 Jack of All Trades stacks, which is just 8 Ability Haste and 10 Adaptive Force right now, which is just bonus stats. The thing about Jack of All Trades is it's not completely necessary to run it with this build. It's just a good bonus. It's like bonuses on top of bonuses on top of bonuses that, that add up and just make for a really good build. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um. 
Bomba. One of the stronger things as well is that I'm still doing a really good amount of damage while basically building a tank item, right? But the damage that I'm having is 174 AP, Sorg Shoes, and then also the ability to kite people. I have Phase Rush and Cosmic Drive. Phase Rush, Cosmic Drive just allow me to just run around people and kite them. I can chunk them once, then I chunk them twice. Next time I f*** their money. <laughs> I think I'm griefing, guys. This page needs a hero. And there you go, guys. That's why Locket is OP. If I didn't buy his health and armor, maybe I would have died, actually. I'm not so sure. Okay, so, here you go. I'm running around them. See that? Running around them creates so much pressure. And, uh... Oh my god, the blitz bang. Holy blitz bang. <laughs> no, they're effing again, but I can't showcase the build, man. Fuck. Alright, guys, get in character. The YouTube game is starting soon. Boom, not yet. The educational YouTube game. Alright, boom. What up, everybody? YouTube war is only here. <laughs> and today we're playing. Locket Gragas. I'm gonna try to teach everybody here how to play Locket Gragas. How you're supposed to play this build. We're playing as Gassy Gragas, of course. It is required. The idea of this build, generally the speaking, bounce, is, is that the skin is very important. Is the skin necessary? Yeah, the minion skins and the Gassy Gragas is necessary. Grasp is also good, um, but it's just kind of for trading only. I don't know, I was gonna die if I tank the entire way. I can bait her flush. Or just kill her. Alright, well, only big problem here is the wave will slow push into her. And Iralia is very strong if your enemy has a big wave. Like if I have a big wave, she can play into it, right? She can fly around the minion wave. That's what she does. So now I have to hard shove this wave and just hope that she doesn't fly around my screen and kill me here. Kind of a gamble. But I think I should be okay. Kluji. Oh, she's flying. I just have to dodge the E. Okay, there we go. We dodge the E and we're chilling. Because I have to play full aggressive in her face now, I'm gonna ward. Just because I need to know if Jarvin is ganking me. If Jarvin ganks me here, it's just GG for me. I just use TP. I just reset. You never want to die right after you reset. It's extremely bad. I think I just kill her here slowly. And that's a Ziggs. Okay. Can I win? Maybe. <laughs> Man, and Jarvan was coming too on the way. That's what I meant. I had to ward right to be able to play aggressive, but I still got ganked. That's just top lane, guys. That's just how it is. And god damn, brain fart on Cassiopeia. Because the wave was frozen, I lost so much XP and farm. You know, I killed her. It really wasn't that great for me, but you know, not the end of the world. I didn't just die, so I can't complain too much. And she's level 6. Oh my god. Irelia players are rabbit dogs. Oh, never mind. Gragas players are too. Yeah, she's level 6 while I'm like not even close to level 6 yet. It's really annoying the way that top lane works sometimes. And there's almost nothing I could do about that wave state. Basically, it just, ha it just happens to be that way. Thank god this Irelia sucks balls or else uh, <laughs> I would be cooked. Okay, just don't get hit, lol. Doesn't this just show how OP Irelia is, actually? The champ is crazy. She's playing like such a piggy. She's playing like the biggest piggy I've ever seen in my life. I <laughs> just wall cut her, man. She got no mana. She has enough for two Qs. <laughs> it would be best if I could freeze here, I'm not gonna lie. But my jungler wants to push, so now I have to push. Best case scenario is I freeze, and then now I don't get risked of getting ganked. Because if Jarvin ganks me now, I'm just dead. But yeah, I don't get ganked, so I'm chilling. So it's really not that bad. But in the ideal world there, you freeze that wave, and then you recall. Is really, really sucks? Yes, yeah, sir. But doesn't that just show how uh, disgusting this champ is? If I play versus good Irelia, I've played versus Venur before. I mean, like, look at her. You guys know Venur? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
God damn, they suck ass. Do you guys know Venur? He used to be a Irelia OTP. Now I think he's like a German pro player. I think he's the best Irelia in EU West. I played versus that guy many times back when I was uh, more high low consistently. And I could never win versus that guy. I think Gragas versus a good Irelia is a completely unplayable matchup. And this Irelia is dog shit and she is already kind of shit on me even when digging out. Like she played this game terrible and she could still like find windows where she could kind of just dog me down. And that's mainly about wave management and Gragas' weak early game with mana problems and low damage, relatively low damage early. What the? Oh my god. Who helps with grubs? Who helps with grubs? What are you doing, Irelia? <laughs> Educational inting. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be all right. Oh, this pig needs to die. She's a terrible player. Horrible player. It's fine. Bye bye. Never mind. This page needs a hero. Bitch! <laughs> Good. Surely now I can like start beating her up, right? Kluge. She does have Bork, which is basically just like Thanos Deluxe. It's just getting... This page needs a hero. Just farm the minion wave while she's. Uh, uh, oh sh! That's not good. That is not good. This champion is awesome. <laughs> I hate Irelia, man. It's so brain dead. It's such a fake skill champion. Now imagine that thing with Merc Treads. Oh my, I stopped her. I stopped her, her Q. Oh my god. Alright, I'll give it to Zed. A uh, little donation. Never mind. I, uh... Oh my... <laughs> it's like you leave her one inch of breathing room. And she just... <laughs> Love her, Alia. Great champ. It's winner's Q. The FF has 15 minutes. No, 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 no. They're not gonna FF. They're not gonna FF. <laughs> They're, they're, they FF'd. Oh my f <laughs> Please, man. I'm just trying to get a game as longer than 20 minutes or something so I can show the build. Please. Like, I'm literally just trying to get a game for a YouTube video. Boom. What up, guys? Solo Bomba only here. Today we're playing Locket Gragas build for the fifth time today. This is this is the fifth can try. I have never been more upset about winning this many games in a row than now. Have you guys ever been upset about having a win streak where everybody FFs 15? I'm trying to show you guys like educational Locket build, but every game ends before I can build Locket. This is take five of the night, so please bear with me, guys. Boom. What up? So yeah, the goal of this game is to basically show you. All. I'm not fine. Busy yapping. Bop. Bop, bop. Nice. She should be dead as hell now. Right? Wait, I'm dead. Oh, oh my god, I'm about to buzz. Enemy FF in four minutes. Please, man. I'm stuck in winner's queue. <laughs> um, bomba. Please don't be an FF15 game again. I just really want to get a good game with this build. Absolutely beautiful. It's fine. This is good if he kills me. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Good death, good death. They won't FF. It's actually perfect. Should I stay here? Yeah, I think maybe. That's gonna be a crazy fight. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> the roll of face. Okay, game looking losable. That's good. That's very good. We actually get to show off the build. I almost have a locket. Once I have locket, I think I can just kind of face tank the Vladimir. He just run at him and kill him. I hope so. I don't know. He might have death cap by then. So he is very strong. Maybe I'm underestimating. But this build can do crazy things. Trust me. All right, we just go dive behind them. No problem. Never mind. Okay, well, this is all warded. Papa. This page needs a hero. Bomba. Bop. 
Nice. It's just getting started. Okay, don't FF guys, please. They won't FF, there's no way. <laughs> Alright guys. Okay, I wanna go fight Vladimir. Here we go. Fight me, young man. He's too fast. Minions is in the way. But he has no pull for a bit. So. Ah, there's a horse here. Horse Meister. Okay. Hmm. We can cook, guys. And the Lux. Alright. That's good though, that's good, good stuff. Really showcasing the strength of the build here. Good flash in. It's just getting started. Alright, well, I have Locket. Now I'm gonna show the power of Locket, guys. Now we go Crypt Bloom. To finish the... Jack of all trades. My ult just disappeared. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> Saint Winner's Q curse. I don't think this game is good enough for the educational. It's a game, that's for sure. Maybe this is a tuber. But I'm in Winner's Q. I'm in Giga Winner's Q, man. 